What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It dot com, Ash Said It dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,400 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this is possible without you guys. So I thank you so much. All the shares and the cares and the dares, they make a difference. All right. And so I'm able to do this stuff and I'm able to really chat and catch up with some amazing people, such as my my guest for today, Miss Founder and CEO of Alicia Renee. I've got Alicia. Hey, Alicia. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. And I hear that you're holding down my city right now. You're holding down the A-Town. <laughs> Well, um, my show is going to be there, okay. but I live in New York. <laughs> okay, that that works too. <laughs> I'm a Bronx baby. What's up? See? <laughs> so. yeah, uh, I'm in Queens. So. <laughs> but uh, shout out to all boroughs. Yeah, that? shout out to everyone, everybody. All right, so Alicia, how and why did you start this company? So um, I started my brand in 2016 when I was in a shelter called Ali Forney. Mm-hmm. Um, it was an LGBT shelter and, um, it was like, um, I was going through a lot of depression and like a lot of like suicidal thoughts and a lot of people in the shelter was actually the same way. And, um, I guess like, since I'm a poet, I was always writing poetry and the idea came to me one day where it was like, if nobody wants to read the poetry, what else can I do? So at first my, my initial thought was just like to put my my poetry on clothing but then I'm like I gotta go harder than that <laughs> so yeah. um I ended up doing like my first logo which is like she's like naked so a lot of people will be like oh she's naked but really the meaning is like way more so it's an mm-hmm. iconic image of a strong empowered black woman who has found peace in a world full of hate by keeping faith and it really yeah. just describes me and my time being in the shelter overcoming what I'm already going through while also trying to push my goals and dreams and it's just showing that no matter where, where you come from, where you are, you can still push for anything you want to do. Yes. So, um, with that, I started in the shelter, and it's been going up since then. <laughs> wow. So, as you had this idea, you know, for this iconic brand to come to be, what was your first step? What was the first thing that you made sure that you did in starting a company? Definitely trade. Well, the first thing I did was trademark my logo mm-hmm. because I was like, everybody was like, "Oh, your logo is so dope." I'm like, "Oh, trademark." Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first thing I did was trademark. I think that it was like something I never did before. Yeah. I was not aware of all like the legal things behind businesses. So like, um, it was just like I used to Google everything, YouTube stuff, and then I I realized that if I want to protect my brand, protect my identity, then I got a trademark. Um, yeah. My, my logo, because at, initially my, my brand was called Lily Design, because my nickname is Lily. Mm-hmm. And then I always thought that I just sounded so corny. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, Alicia Renee is my name, so I might as well just call it what it is. Yeah. And it sounds a little bit more classy. So you know what? I was like, I'm changing it to Alicia Renee. Yeah. And then I trademarked my name, and it was, it was up from there. <laughs> wow. So I know that there's so many different brands and companies and clothing brands that are out there now that cater to women cater to men do stuff for children what was your decision why did you choose to do unisex so um being in the lgbt shelter um Mm -hmm. people we go by pronouns you know him her they and i don't really feel like it was necessary to only um you know do just women or men Mm -hmm. because a lot of people like i noticed that a lot of people in the shelter that dressed like women with, like, actually, like, men clothing. And right. this was always, like, you never knew. So, it was like, for me, it was, like, I wanted to do both. And mm. uh, at first, I'm, like, people, it's, it's a girl, it's a naked woman. Ain't nobody, but the girl's going to buy this. But then I had more males than females <laughs> buying. I was, like, oh. <laughs> so, I'm, like, well, okay. But really, it's just because being in the LGBT, um, LGBT shelter, I really didn't want to just go for just men or women. Mm-hmm. And uh, I wanted to cater to everybody. So that was initially my thought of being in the shelter like that. Okay. So. Yeah, no, that definitely, definitely is unique because, you know, it it definitely, and, and I'm sure that you know, it takes a little bit more work 
But hey, the mm-hmm. product speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. Yeah. Now, what um, what was your moment of confirmation? Like that moment that you felt like, you know what? Wow, this is making a difference. This is totally what I'm supposed to be doing. So I would say that moment came about in 2018. Um, because initially at first I was just doing my logo, my signature naked woman on everything. And, you know, I was still doing my poetry, my writing on the side, but I never really released my poetry. Mm-hmm. And, um, I always felt like I'm writing about what my life, I'm always writing about the issues in society with my poetry. Why don't I do something that's going to be like, you know what? This is an awareness brand, not just Alicia Renee brand, but Alicia Renee awareness brand. Mm-hmm. Because I all I feel passionate about the society in my life and everything that's going on in the world right now. I might go make stuff that's, you know, about me and my personal experiences. Right. So uh, I ended up in twenty eighteen, um, I ended up changing my mission. So now my mission is basically to bring awareness to the issues that we face in society through fashion, but I'm using my own personal life experiences. So I, I've been, I'm a domestic violence um, victim, so I talk about domestic violence. I've been through mental health issues. I had um, a lot of things happen with the police, not, thank God, not physically, but I only talk about and only design things that I actually experience because it's more relatable. So mm. I'm not the type of person that talks about, like, breast cancer or um, human trafficking because I never experienced it. Right. I can only talk about what I actually experienced. So mm. when I actually, like, released my first, mental health image and my domestic violence image, everybody went crazy. They're like, oh my gosh, I feel the same way. I'm a domestic violence victim. I'm getting all these DMs. And I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I like this. I didn't cry. I was crying. Aww. I'm like, wow, this is everybody's stories. And realize I'm not going through by myself. It made me be like, okay, this is it. This is what I want to do. Wow. So. That is, that's one yeah. of a confirmation. I love it. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. That <laughs> I got all passionate about it. I said, "Ooh, I might be too loud." <laughs> <laughs> I got, I started really getting passionate about. It. <laughs> But that's what makes it just beautiful. And when people are just themselves, you know, you're not trying to put on a show and try to copy somebody right. else. Like, you're letting your authenticity flow. And that's what this this whole show is about. It's like, I love having people on the show and hearing their stories because everyone's story is different and everyone's story is inspirational. It's just, we don't have time to right. listen to everybody's story. So if I can snip and pick a couple of y'all from, you know, earth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And get to highlight your story, like it's so, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. So, but Miss Alicia Burnett, you've got a show coming up in my city this month. Yes, in September. You got a show coming on. Let's talk about this show. Okay, so, so first off, what is your. And I don't know. I know that you may or may not be able to share this with us right now because you want to keep some stuff to the illusion and pull people through. <laughs> but what is your what is the theme of the fashion show? So originally, I was going to do a theme, but because I'm not just doing a fashion show for myself, I actually added more designers and vendors. Mm. I didn't think that it would be appropriate for me to just do a theme that they can't really you know, obviously do, because they're not okay. all, everybody's awareness brand. Right. So, um, really, it's just like, <laughs> for the guests, dress to impress, because you're going to come and see so many different brands. Mm. It's, um, it's seven designers in total. So, oh, I wow. meet a lot of small businesses that don't have enough exposure, or I actually am Facebook friends with, or something like that, and I feel like they deserve the exposure. So, yeah. it's not really a thing, just dress to impress, come out and support, you know, black-owned businesses. Yeah, so, you know. Okay, so do we have any performers that maybe we could talk about or announce? Yeah, so um, they are um independent artists. So we have Masters of Time. They are um located in Ma- is it Macon, Georgia? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> or maybe right now. Macon. <laughs> um, they are a rap group. They're really um talented. Um, uh, one of them actually is one of my models as well. So okay. he's gonna be like rapping and then going to change. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. And then we have um, RTP Illy. I think he's from Florida. He's gonna be traveling down. He's one of the, he's he's nice now. Um, wow. A lot of people follow my page, and 
you know, when I put up stuff, they'd be like, oh, I want to um, rap, I want to um, perform. But then, like, you know, they send their videos, but he just stood out to me. Mm. Like, his flow, everything about him just made me feel like, wow, okay, yep. He gives me, like, like, like a nod, like a this, this generation nod type. Like, mm. he's just really dope. Like, and then I have a singer, and she's from Cali. Her name is Guadalupe, and um, she, she, oh, talented. <laughs> Talented. Okay, it's all I can say. Talented. Oh, okay. So awesome. See. Oh, you we're gonna hear to... me, you gotta come to the show. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what about? Um, can we talk about food? Are y'all gonna have any food vendors? Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, um. So, uh, <laughs> everybody know what's up. Food. Everybody know what's up. Food. Like, hey. You know, you know we be hungry. Look, we from the south. All right. Yeah. Hungry. Yeah. We be. Now, we, um, we I wanted south. some food vendors. Okay. I really did want some food vendors, but um. Honestly, with COVID, the yeah. baby just felt more sense to not have food vendors because That's you got to have napkins, you got to have to take the extra precautions. Yeah. So I do have eight vendors, but they're all like selling different things, lashes, you know, some people are selling pet um, accessories. Oh, okay. We got uh, boutique, kid clothing, um, candles, just it's all different things. So when you come out, if you want something for your pet, you got it. You need lashes, they got it. You need clothing for your kids, they got it. Women, they got everything. So bring it. your wallet, okay? <laughs> and if you don't got no cash, I already got a little car reader now. All so. right. All right. <laughs> we got you covered. <laughs> yes. Now, last but certainly not least, what advice can you offer to any young person out there that has a dream that they haven't acted out on? I definitely would say go for it. Um, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I feel like when you're in a certain situation and you feel like giving up, you kind of got to look at the bigger picture. And um, it is hard to think about it. But with me starting my brand in the shelter, in a place where I felt like it was nothing, I was surrounded by nothing but depression around me, like it was mm-hmm. really, really hard. You kind of got to, I honestly say, keep your faith, pray a lot, and go for it. So, like no matter how much you think that you can't do it, I'm pretty sure you can do it. And and I really just feel I, my brand is not even built off of money. It's built off faith. Mm. And at this point, I don't know how I even got this far, but it's God. <laughs> it's praying. Sometimes I'll be like, I don't know how I'm going to afford this. And all of a sudden, I got it. Okay. It's praying. Amen. So Every day. if I can say anything, you keep your faith and you keep it pushing and keep your ideas coming, honey. Yes. So, <laughs> Come through. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Alicia Renee, <laughs> thank you so much, Mama, for joining us today. We appreciate you sending some good vibrations your way and stuff. I know that, you know, I told you that I am currently, you know, I'm not in GA right now. And I'm not 100% oh, no. when I will be back. And, um, yeah, it's just life is happening. We're just making it do what it do. But I send my love and I send my good vibrations to you and your whole team. Because I know that this show is going to be amazing. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just keep pushing forward. Let everyone know, of course, how to get their tickets and to follow you on social media. So everything is Alicia Renee. It's A-L-I-E-S-H-A-R-E-N-E-A. Everything is Alicia Renee. The um, ticket link is actually in the bio on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Alicia Renee. We, we're out here. So everything Alicia Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for all of your love and support. Keep it in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.